Hello everyone. Welcome back to this section where you will learn the components of hyperledger fabric. So this is kind of important section where you will learn the components and architecture of hyperledger fabric and it includes lot of components and also the details of those component. So please pay attention to this section. So in the previous section, we have learned about hyperledger projects, which comes under the subsection distributed ledger framework, libraries and tools. So one such distributed ledger framework is hyperledger fabric. So to refresh your memory, Hyperledger Fabric is a distributed ledger framework and it is intended as a foundation for developing applications with a modular architecture. So in this section, we will deep dive into components and architecture of Hyperledger Fabric and in the end, you will have a quiz to test your knowledge as well. So these are the components that Hyperledger Fabric framework is made of. Let me list out all this. First one is PO. Next is ordering service, fabric certification authority, fabric ledger, fabric channel, smart contracts or chain code, endorsement policies, MSP or membership providers. In this section, let us look into what PO is. So as you can see, Peer is a fundamental unit of hyperledger fabric network. Peer maintains a ledger and a smart contract. Adding to that, peers are the fundamental element of the network because they host instance of ledger and instance of the chain code. Each peer can have multiple chain code and multiple ledgers. Peers have a special chain codes that are always present by default. Peers communicate to each other by using gossip protocol. A single peer is owned by a single organization. Hence, a single peer is associated with a single MSP. We will learn more about MSP as we move on. So as you can see in from the from the point three, you can see there are different types of peers. They are anchor peer, lead peer, endorsing peer, committing peer. So what is anchor peer? Every organization must have one or more anchor peers so that those anchor peers can communicate to one, one or the other anchor peers of other, or, other organization using gossip protocols. This is needed to know about the peers that are present in other organization. Next is leader peer. This peer node receives a new block from the orderer and shares it with the other peers using gossip protocol. You will learn what orderer is in the coming sections. Next is endorsing peer. Endorsing peers has chain code installed on them. So since they have chain code installed on them, endorsing peers simulate and endorse the transactions. Next is committing peer. Committing peer verifies endorsements and validates transaction results before committing the transaction to the blockchain. Moving on, peers can be created, started, stopped, reconfigured and even deleted. They expose a set of APIs that enable administrator and application to interact with the services they provide. So what are the APIs? What are the services that, that the API provides? That we will see in the practical section. So in case of peer, the applications always connect to peers when they need to access ledger and chain code. The Fabric SDK, which is Software Development Kit, makes this easy for programmers. Its APIs enable applications to connect to peers, invoke chain codes to generate transactions, submit transactions, 
to the network that will get ordered validated and committed to the distributed ledger and receive events when this process is complete this is how the application workflow works so the workflow from application to peer and the communication the communication that happens from application to peer uh, including the other ecosystem as well we will see in the coming slides so there are two types of the transaction one is ledger query transaction which requires three steps we will see what are those three three steps in the next slide versus ledger update which requires five steps let us see the example of this so consider this blue box as blockchain network and a which is the outside application which sits outside the network consider this as application we are going to take p1 as the peer we are going to take s1 as the chain code we are going to take l1 as ledger and we are going to take o1 as orderer as we saw in the previous slide ledger query takes three steps and ledger update takes five steps let us see what does that mean when when a ledger query happens application connects to the peer application when application connects to the peer application invokes the chain code on the peer when it invokes the chain code first what happens the peer invokes the chain code with the proposal next the chain code generates the query then again after that if it is a query then the proposal response is sent back to the application so this is the three step workflow that you follow in case of ledger query when it comes to ledger update application connects to the peer then it invokes the chain code which is the proposal first step is peer in peer invokes chain code with proposal then chain code generates or generates query or update proposal response in this case update proposal response after that the proposal response is sent back to the application next the request the request that the transition is ordered is sent to the orderer what the orderer does is orderer sends the transaction the the transaction sent to peers in blocks so orderer orders the transaction and creates the blocks and these blocks are sent after that peers updates ledger using transaction blocks next as part of concluding this process the ledger update event occurs so this is the five step process that happens in case of your ledger update so these are the these are the steps that you need to keep in mind when you invoke a ledger query or a ledger update to your peer or to your uh, to your network which consists of peers so this is the definition of uh, this is the explanation of what i just explained and this depicts whatever the diagram says so uh, we do have one more course which is hyperledger fabric system admin course where we majorly cover how peer interact with the application how peer interact with one another how peers are assigned to an organization how peers interact with the orderer so all these are very much necessary to understand in depth how peers as an ecosystem works with hyperledger fabric so we do have that course please do check out that course as well which is available on bootcamps i'll see you in the next section thank you